My mind was already racing. Does he have gun? It's gone inside his pocket. I be the knife that he has. Is it dagger that he has? What is this man looking for? Why me, oh Lord? Why is this man here? What did I do to deserve this? As in my mind was already thinking so many things. My eyes were darting around to be sure that this man was not around. And I entered the car with my children and I drove home. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? My fam, my wonderful fam, the people that have a special place in my heart is me again. Utonwa is here and I am back with another video. But before I before I start saying anything, eh? Let me ask. How many of you know that I have a new channel? And do you know the name of my new channel? You don't know? Ha! Huh? Oh, Nyano, I know me in the farm, in the YouTube. So you people don't know that Utawa has a brand new baby channel. Oh, Nyana, how long, how long have you been away from YouTube? Let's even start from there. Where have you been? How long have you been away from here? Because that's the only way I can, I can be able to justify or, or explain the fact that you don't know, that you are not aware that i have a new channel i have a new channel guys and the name of my channel is nazo unscripted in case you don't know now you know and the reason why i'm telling you is that so that you should go and help me to subscribe to that channel right now we are at 95 subscribers and the goal is to hit 1000 subscribers before the middle of as i'm saying this thing now before the middle of i wanted to say before the middle of february but i don't even know when this video is going up need to go up it will go up before the middle of february because no i have a goal before the middle of february i want nazo unscripted to reach 1000 subscribers it's not beyond our reach it's not impossible it's not something that we cannot do we are able and capable and you can lead this turn and you get me where we can do it all you need to do is to subscribe to that channel and if you have a youtube community you share it on your community please it's not a by forcing something i know that you are not obligated to do that i'm just begging you allow the holy spirit to touch you listen to the holy spirit when he's ministering to you that you should go and share nazo unscripted videos on your youtube community so that people can come and subscribe amen amen and then as I'm talking about Nazo Unscripted, because I noticed that nowadays I'm always soliciting for subscribers, begging for subscribers for Nazo Unscripted, that I'm now neglecting Nazo Eze, which is this particular channel that you're watching this video on. Have you subscribed? If you have subscribed to Nazo Eze, you have a special place in heaven. But if you have not subscribed to Nazo Eze, I'm going to report you to Mommy G.O. And when I say Mommy G.O., I don't mean Ogum series. Oh. I'm going to report you to the other Mommy G.O. She's the one that will tell you where you will go. I'm not going to say that, please. It's not me that will tell you where you will go. It's Mommy G.O. that will tell you. Talking about Ogum series, there's a video that I watched on Ogum series. Do you know Ogum series? You don't know Ogum series. Ah, it's been long you have not come to this YouTube because there's no way that you can be on YouTube and you will not know our YouTube Mommy G.O., the one and only masterclass holder on YouTube. Ogum series, go and check her out. You will thank me later. So, Ogum series, I watched one of her videos where she was talking about line Q in front of petrol station and I was wondering for scarcity or in Nigeria Abi, is it only in Abuja is it a nationwide something where is the first scarcity happening ha huh? it just reminded me eh the days of first scarcity by the way this is a chit chat video I'm just here to cheat and chat with you we're gonna be talking we're just gonna be rambling as like without direction anywhere the G's carry us we will go there so back then in nigeria is first scarcity i heard me i suffer i suffer that time you know why because my husband then was based in in ulop <laughs> my husband was based in ulop and i mean to say europe so that time he used to come home he used to come and visit us well like twice a year or three times in a year as the case may be so that time it was only me, mainly me and the children and our help. Security, gate man. Um, security and gate man, is it not the same thing? Security, house helps and and then 
my PA that time now I was I had a studio in first stack. So it was only me that used to go and buy fuel. When there's fuel scarcity, it's me that we carry moto and go. Because I did not like to stress my security man like that. My security man then uh, when there is no fuel scarcity, when I don't have strength to go and buy fuel, I used to send him to go and buy fuel. But when I found out that they were cheating me, I started buying it by myself in the car. I'll carry I we hey ask him we carry. Mm. It's well. I will carry jerry can and then I will go to the petrol station. Then first gas it gone gone gone. It's me that we go and queue. So then I will carry jerry cans and I will go and queue. Sometimes I will be on the line for like two hours. Sometimes two hours, thirty minutes. We'll be waiting for fuel. Sometimes we will they will they will call us. Somebody will call us. Those of us that used to have connection there. Somebody will call us and tell us that that they are going to tanker is going to come and offload fuel that we should come more. Then I will now go there. We will now go and line up. We will now go and be waiting in our cars, waiting for tanker to arrive. And tanker will now arrive. Then we will now wait for tanker to offload. Tanker will now come and offload. We will now buy fuel. Sometimes, if you don't get there on time, I will be there for like an hour, 30 minutes to reach my turn. They will say fuel has finished. I will just want to cry. But eh, the one that eh, when I think back, I just thank God. Is the fact that sometimes, because my husband was always out of the country. And me, I had trust issues. I, don't, I didn't like leaving my kids with the help. When I go to buy fuel after school, after school hours, I used to like to go and buy fuel during school hours because I'll be sure then that my kids were in school. But anytime I have to go and buy fuel after school hours that I have to go and line up, I will have to take my children with me because I could not bear to leave them at home for hours. And then we will not be in the car. Hi, I will now be, I will now be thinking, Jesus, don't let anything explode here. Don't let tanker explode though. If I see somebody answering call, I don't know if that thing is true about people answering call near um, gas pump that it can explode. If I see somebody answering call, it will remain for me to bite the person. Oh God, why are you answering call here now? Don't you know you're not supposed to answer call? Are you blind? Can't you see the sticker? Can't you see that people are not supposed to answer call? I will feel like... Any call, the answer, the place will just blow up. And me, I was scared because I had my children with me in the car. Chai, I'm so happy. One of the reasons why I thank God that I'm no longer in Nigeria is the fact that I don't have to deal with fuel scarcity anymore. I don't have to deal with going to go and line up. So when I saw Ogum series talking about line, I was like, Jesus, I thank you. I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> oh my God. Ah. But then eh, it was not easy to carry my children everywhere. I just had trust issues. I couldn't bear to leave them at home. I couldn't bear to leave them at home because I used to hear stories. And I did not have strength for stories that touch. That's how, hey, I just remembered one story. Something that happened one of the times that I went to buy, I carried my children with me as usual. So I went to Pharmacare. I was in Oxfam in Festac. It was either Pharmacare or Oxfam that I went to, I wanted to go and buy medicine and I took my children with me. So immediately I stopped the car. I was still trying to because that time I was driving a coupe, a coupe, all these cars that have two doors. So I was now trying to bring out my kids from the back of the car, let us go inside. One man, one crazy looking man now came and stood beside me. Telling me that I should, um, that his wife, his wife just had a baby, that he needed to buy milk for the baby. He did not have money. This man looked crazy and he had crazy eyes. His eyes were looking wild. Immediately I saw him, eh, my heart was beating so fast. I said, this man, this man should not grab my child and run, no. This man should not grab my child and run, no. I was bringing up my children. If you see how I held them, you know how, ah. You know how Okoko, chicken, used to cover its cheeks. Eh? When it senses danger, when it senses that somebody is a threat, and then as it as the okoko as the hen is covering her cheeks, her own feathers will not be standing. That's how I'm sure if you look at me, my skin there with microscope, you see that the hair on my hand were standing. I was just shielding them. I was listening to him with one ear. He was talking. I said, okay, okay. In my mind, I was thinking fast. Okay, what will I do now? Let me take him inside where people are at least so that he cannot try anything funny. And I told him, okay, let's go inside. Let's go inside the, the pharmacy. I will buy the milk for you there. We now went inside there. When we got inside, I now 
mingled with other people immediately. But this man was following me around, telling me that he's still waiting for me. Oh, that I know you. Oh, I know you. I sabi where you they live. Me, I did not even care then whether he sabi or did he did not sabi. I was just so scared. I just wanted people to to alert people to the fact that there is a stranger following me and my children, and I was afraid. And then. People now noticed what was going on. When he saw that people were now looking at him, he now left there. Do you know, eh, I had to stay inside there for a while. I couldn't leave immediately. I was so scared of leaving immediately. I had to hang inside that place for a while, for about 20 minutes or so. Before, I now saw one guy. I did not know him, shall I saw a man that came to buy something. As he was going, I followed him with my children. And then I quickly opened the car and put my children inside. If you saw my eyes were, <laughs> hey... My eyes were darting around to be sure that this man was not around. And I now entered the car with my children and now drove off. But I knew for sure that he was lying. He did not know me. He didn't know where I lived. That's his own tactics of putting fear into women to scare me into doing what he wanted. But I didn't buy anything for him that day, Sha. But it was just, ah, hell. Bad, bad things. Things that when I remember it now, eh, I just feel, I don't know, I just feel, I just have this bitter sweet feeling about it. Bitter as per that I had to go through all that fear, terror and all. And then sweet as per, thank God I don't have to go through that again, you get? Even self, that's not even the only one. I remember one again that accosted me at ATM. ATM in, um... What's the name of that road where they have TFC in first stack? Where they have Holy Family Catholic Church? Is it 23 Road? No? It's not 23. What's the name of that road? Is it 22 Road? I think it's 22 Road where they have Holy Family Catholic Church. Where they have TFC. Yeah. Beside TFC, there was this ATM gallery. Yeah. So, I remember one day I went there. Thank God that this time around I did not go with my children because they were in school. So I went in there to go and collect money. They go to speed on your number in school neighborhood. Anyway, so I went there to collect money. All of a sudden, you know, one guy came in. I think they used to hang around. The guy came inside and he told, and he knew I was the only person inside there. And he came with a story that that <sighs> thinking about it and thinking of the story he told me, eh? And the fear that came upon me, eh? It's like I did not really have much of a sense back then. Mm, I don't think I, I really had much of a sense. Because the way I used to fall for all their nonsense story that you will know is, is actually cock and boo story. But I think it's fear. Fear was my problem. Anyway, so this man now came to me oh, and told me this nonsense story oh, that, eh, that his car stopped him on the highway. On that um, Alakija, on that um, Okoko highway the way to alaba international whatever sir, that his car stopped there that fuel finishing his car and that his main problem is that his children were inside that car imagine how can how can somebody come to you and tell you that his car stopped him on the highway and he left his children in the car and came out all the way to inside first tag to come and look for fuel and you will believe him <laughs> you see why i said i did not have much of a sense this man now told me this story that I should please find him money so that he can at least buy fuel that he was scared for his children. Me, as I was there, I was already shaking. I was thinking. My mind was already... I was... My mind was already racing. Does he have gun? It's gone inside his pocket. A busy knife that he has. Is it dagger that he has? What is this man looking for? Why me, oh Lord? Why is this man here? What did I do to deserve this? As in, my mind was already thinking so many things. I just said okay no problem no problem i'm going to give you money <laughs> i just surrendered before i'm sure the man will be like wow so easy this woman is so easy i shall withdrew money gave him some from it we lost so the run i used to run i enter inside my car eh ha, and then eh, whenever those things happen to me eh, i don't used to have mouth to gist my husband on the phone because i'm like he will say this woman what type of woman being did i marry like this <laughs> Why are you always panicking? But why won't I panic? Why won't I panic? Eh? Anyway, um, chit chat have end. Mm. You enjoy it? I know you enjoy it, but chit chat have end because the time now is 2.24. In six minutes time, I'm going to go and collect my munchkin from inside there. I just say let's chit chat. Okay? All right. But tell me, have you subscribed? Two channels. Nazo Eze, right here, right now. 
look down somewhere here no i think it's here down there you see the word subscribe mm? you can find it somewhere because i know that you went to school so you know the word subscribe now tell me what color is that word subscribe is it red if it's red it means that you have not subscribed it means that you need to do the needful by tapping it once you tap it it's gonna turn gray is it gray god bless you now after you have turned it gray you see that bell that appeared beside it no you have not finished now just look that it's still remaining it's only turned gray there's a bell that just appeared right now right now 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 okay now tap on that bell have you tapped it now what do you see you saw something they wrote all on top they wrote after all what is under all is it never i can't remember the important one sha is all tap on all when you tap on all mm, do you know what's gonna happen it means that every time that i post a video you will be notified you will know and then you can come here and watch it thank you so much for doing that now you see all the steps that you just followed now eh just quickly go to nazo unscripted channel and do the same thing god bless you thank you so much for watching stay safe stay blessed and we're gonna see ourselves in the next video bye